Hey there, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you something that I do very often in uh, my browser whenever I want to prototype something quickly in HTML and CSS. Uh, and I don't want to bother creating an HTML file. I just want to create something very quickly in like that occupies a tab content uh, and I just want to play with HTML and CSS. So what I usually do is I go right into the URL bar and I type data, uh, sorry, text HTML comma div. So what that does is that it's going to tell the browser that this URL is actually not a location of a web server and a page on that server, but it's actually directly text HTML content and I can write the content after the comma character. In that case, I only want to have one div to start with. I don't even bother closing that div because the browser is going to do that for me. And I press enter. So I'm given an empty page now. It only has one div. And what I do is I immediately start uh, DevTools because that's what I use the most to, um, to do that. And as you can see, I have my HTML head body and then the div inside. So what I do from there is I'm going to start creating a couple of rules just to give me some kind of a a playground here to 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 work with. What I like doing is I like doing a rule that has that applies to HTML and body, um, and I set it to have a height of 100%, no margins, and overflow hidden. Now I have a nice HTML and body tags that occupy the full viewport, no matter how big or small it is um, and that makes it a lot cleaner for me. Next what I do is I add another rule just for body and what I do here is I use display flex. I use flexbox. I use justify content center, align items center as well. What that does is that anything that's going to be inside body is going to be centered um, and using the flexbox layout and as I was saying before, I only have one div and that's all I need. I'm going to experiment within that div. So the div being the only flex item in there is going to be perfectly centered no matter how big or small the page is, tall or small, etc. So now I have my playground. It has no size right now. It's just zero pixel wide and zero pixel high. So I'm just going to add a new rule or maybe before I do that, I'm going to add a class. Um, with a new class panel here to this div and I'm kind of I'm gonna call it container maybe or wrapper or wh whatever it is that you want to call this general containing element so now I have that class I'm gonna add a new rule for it and that's where I do something like width let's say 90 V mean height 90 V mean and that's really uh, the key part here uh, vmin is this viewport unit. Um, you may know that there is viewport height and viewport width, which you can use with um, vh or vm. And I like using vmin. Vmin is basically the minimum. Give me the minimum. Uh, is is it taller than it is wide, or is it the contrary? In that case, it is actually um, narrower than it is tall, and so therefore the 100 V mean unit is going to describe the width here. If I was going to change the ratio to make, sorry, to make the page actually smaller here, then the 100 V mean would be here. All right, let's move that back in. And so I can maybe give this some background so you can see. And now what I have is I have a perfect square that is always going to be perfectly centered and resizing no matter, you know, how big or small my browser is, you know. It's always going to be visible. There's never going to be any scroll bars or anything. And I really like to experiment in here. Like anything I do from then on, let's say that I want to create like, um, I don't know, um, any type of CSS layout that I want to experiment with, I can create it inside this div and I know that that's always going to be visible on the page and then I can just make sure that I have the right CSS rules in there so that 
there is a scroll bar if there needs to be one or if everything needs to resize um, proportionally or that kind of stuff. So that's that's really how I do it. Uh, whenever I want to experiment quickly with CSS and HTML, I'm not leaving the browser. Um, at, whenever this becomes too complex and I've added too many CSS rules and HTML code and I want to save that into a file, what I do is I just go here, copy uh, the outer HTML. So that's now in my um, clipboard. So I can paste that into uh, any editor that I want. And then I go to the style editor as well. And I copy the CSS from here. Everything's here as well. And I can do the same copy and then paste that into my code editor. And I have like the, the page is then safe on my hard drive and I can start working from there. But I really like that first phase where I'm only in DevTools, no file. I don't need to jump in between the two um, softwares. And, and that's really cool for me. All right, that's it. Thanks.